Hello everyone, this is Bola from Clever Girl Finance and welcome to my YouTube channel. And so in this video, I actually want to share some financial advice that I would give to my younger self knowing what I know now about money. So my journey to building wealth really started after I left college. And in the three and a half years after I left college, I managed to save $100,000 on my own. And this is the story that I've shared on this YouTube channel and also on my blog that I'll link below. And during that time of saving that money and also in the subsequent years, I learned so much, but there's also a ton of stuff that I wish that I knew during that time. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing in this video in the form of financial advice that I would give to my younger self. So the first thing I would tell myself would be to max out my retirement contributions right away. When I first graduated from college and I got that job um, that I was earning my first big salary, I was contributing to my retirement savings, but I didn't max out because I didn't really understand what it meant to contribute to retirement savings. So my employer at the time was offering a match. And so initially I just contributed enough to get the match. But then as I learned more about retirement savings and the importance of savings, for retirement, I actually started to contribute more until eventually a few years later, I was able to max out my savings. But knowing what I know now, I would max out my savings right away because I would have saved a ton more money quicker. And so if you are in this space where you are kind of like contributing just a little bit to your retirement savings and you're able to max out, whether you're contributing to a 401k, a 403b, a 457 plan, or even a traditional or Roth IRA, make a goal of yours to max out your contributions as soon as you can. This will just give you the opportunity to save even more money towards your retirement. The second thing I would tell myself would be to learn about investing outside of retirement sooner. So when I was saving that $100,000, I actually kept a lot of my money in cash and it was basically sitting in a bank account earning a pitiful amount of interest. And if I had invested that money in the stock market or in another kind of investment, it could actually actually have earned me so much more money, especially if I had invested it for the long term. And so investing is one way to grow your money. It's putting your money to work for you. And when you think long term, you can grow your money exponentially around um, specifically with investing. And so I would definitely tell my younger self to learn about investing sooner and start investing my money outside of retirement much sooner than I did. So I definitely encourage you to start thinking about investing when it comes to growing your money over the long term. And keep in mind that you don't want to invest your money that you've put aside for your emergency savings or money that you have put aside for your short-term goals, which are goals that you're planning to accomplish within the next five years. But anything long-term, any goals that you have set for the long-term, you definitely want to consider putting those funds into investment so that that money can grow for you. The next thing I would tell myself would be to buy fewer handbags. So if you know me, you know that I love luxury handbags. I love my designer handbags. However, I got to a point where I got comfortable with having a lot of money in the bank and I started buying more handbags than I really needed, which basically didn't make any sense for me because I was not using them and my cost per wear was just really, really high. And so I would tell myself to invest that money as opposed to buying more handbags that I didn't need. Um, and I definitely learned my lesson I eventually sold those handbags and was able to luckily able to recover all of my money which I then invested and this doesn't just apply to handbags it applies to anything that you may find yourself overspending on in your life or any items that you may find yourself buying that you're actually not using you want to take some time out to actually reconsider those purchases and put that money to better use like investing or saving or even towards paying off your debt so I would definitely definitely tell my younger yourself to buy your handbags. The fourth thing I would tell myself would be to get life insurance sooner. So when I was younger, I was definitely one of those people who thought that getting life insurance was like planning your own funeral. <laughs> However, now that I'm older, I definitely recognize and understand the benefits of having the right kind of life insurance, especially if you have dependents. And so I would definitely tell my younger self to get life insurance. And also as you get older, your premiums become more expensive. And so if I'd gone life insurance in my early 20s, I would definitely be paying a lot less for life insurance. And so I'm going to put some links below to some blog posts that I have written on the importance of life insurance and why you should consider it if you don't already have it. So I encourage you to check it out. 
So that is some of the advice I would give my younger self about money, knowing what I know now. And I'd love to know about you. What would you tell your younger self about money, knowing what you know now? Leave a comment. I would love to know. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And if you have, please, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to head over to my website at cleverwellfinance.com and subscribe there too, so you can get access to my resource library. I have a ton of awesome tools that can help you as you work on improving your finances. And I also update the blog with brand new blog posts every single week. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.